the smooth and shiny surface is the characteristic of a nice looking aspic. The way you arrange the food before pouring the melted gelatin will make this aspic a small and appetizing piece of art. To make this recipe you will need various colors of cherry tomatoes, cooked shrimps, cooked carrots cut into thin slices, diamonds or red bell peppers, plain goat cheese, gelatin, pepper, basil and a light vegetable broth. You can also use another type of consomme such as chicken or beef consomme. Prepare your molds. This is vegetable oil in a spray bottle. Spray the inside of the mold with the vegetable oil. Remove the excess of oil using a paper towel. Put the gelatin in a bowl. Add the cold water over and whisk. Set aside the gelatin until it has fully dissolved. About five minutes. Transfer the consomme into a saucepan. Bring the consomme to a boil. Turn the heat off and take the pot to the workstation. Pour the hot liquid over the gelatin. Make sure the gelatin is well dissolved. Then reserve a quarter cup. Put it aside and we'll be using it later on. Pour about a sixteenth of an inch or 1.5 millimeters of gelatin into the molds. Place the molds into the freezer for about three minutes and let's have fun with the decoration now. Those are various aspic cutters that you can purchase in any cookware store. Use them to make different shapes on your carrot slices. Place the shapes on the gelatin. When using the diamonds, place the red bell paper skin side down. You need patience to do that, but it's worth it. Return the molds to the freezer. And leave them for a couple of minutes. Great, they have set. Then add another layer over. and return the molds to the freezer for about two minutes. Meanwhile, slice the tomatoes with a serrated knife. Cut them in half lengthwise or crosswise. Prepare your tomatoes in advance as you don't want to leave the gelatin in a hot place. Uh, sometimes it could be very hot, right? So the gelatin will melt and you don't want that. Then add the shrimp over and fill the cups with the cherry tomatoes. So leave some space because you still have to put a little bit of basil later on and the goat cheese. Fill the molds with the gelatin. Then separate the basil leaves from the stem. So here I have red basil. This is why we have red stems. Chop the basil into thin chiffonade. And add a little bit of basil all over the top of each aspic. Then cover with gelatin. Refrigerate until firm. In the blender, place the goat cheese, add the reserved gelatin, and blend. I have about half cup of gelatin left over that I'm going to use to make my 
mixture here a little bit thinner. And blend. So it's still fake, so I'm going to add the rest. So total it will be 3 quarter cup of gelatin. These are the goat cheese, and now let's see if our aspic are set. Yeah, they are. Then pour the goat cheese mixture over. Return the aspics to the fridge for at least six hours. This is the moment of truth. Let's unmold an aspic. Prepare your plate. So here I have some nice red leaf lettuce. I'm going to follow the shape of the leaf here and make it round. Place the leaf on a plate, right on the center. Take an aspic, dip it in hot water about 20 seconds to 30 seconds just to uh, warm him up and then we're going to unmold it. Dry it. Oh, it's coming. Then garnish with tomato chips. There we go, looks beautiful. And maybe a green one on the side, shrimp, goat cheese and cherry tomato aspic. Bon appétit!